get by. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See lights like a peach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I interview top entrepreneurs and founders. We're here at the Sage Summit, and we're with Dan Rodriguez. He's one of the founders of ScanForce. Dan, so how many founders are there? There are three main people that kind of worked on the company and started the company. Okay. So how did you meet those guys? Well, I'm related to one of them. Okay. Uh, and another one is actually uh, has a lot of experience in the Sage 100 marketplace with barcoding, so it was a good fit for okay. us. So talk about ScanForce and what you guys do. Our focus is on a warehouse management solution for Sage 100. We also offer mobile sales solution for Sage 100 as well. And our, the key is really that we have a tight integration with that product, so it operates like a native product. You're able to use mobile devices that run Apple iOS, Android, Windows, uh, to capture data in a mobile yeah. fashion by scanning barcodes. Cool. So you, so, because I see all these different devices, what's the demonstration that you're doing for people? What are you showing them? Well, we show them that they can do physical counts with those devices. They can do remote sales to sell people out on the road, uh, shipping, receiving, basically manage your whole warehouse. Anytime that you're dealing with inventory, you could do it with the ScanForce product. So is it through an app or how do they actually do it? Yeah, exactly. So you load an app on these devices. Uh, you can load it on a consumer device like an iPad, or you can do it on something that's more rugged for the warehouse, like these Zebra Motorola products are very rugged, designed for the warehouse with barcode scanning built in. So why did you start ScanForce? Well, there was basically a need in the Sage 100 marketplace for a solution that had all of the features that we offer, that provides the support that we offer, uh, and it's basically the market asked for it, and we're basically giving that to them. I mean, when you got together with your founders, were you exploring different options, or was this the obvious choice? What else were you deciding on at the time? Yeah, we had a uh, good experience in the Sage 100 marketplace, actually, from a support experience. Okay. So uh, we heard from other partners and users that a barcoding solution for the warehouse that worked in a certain way like ours doesn't require internet connection, doesn't require constant connectivity. Uh, that was a solution that was needed. So we, we had the technology to be able to do that, so we kind of got together and, and made the solution. So, Dan, talk about one of your favorite success stories from a customer. Oh, wow. Uh, there, there's a lot of success stories where customers that are going from a completely manual process. Yeah, you know, like what's uh, one that you could think of so people kind of touch and feel it? What's like at the type of company? What were they using it for? Well, uh, one example was one of our customers was a Red Bull distributor. So they distribute oh. the Red Bull product. Cool. Uh, and they were doing this all with manual handwritten orders. Really? So they were... They had 25 trucks out at the time. They would send them out to go to different gas stations to, uh, to take orders manually, bring them back, and someone had a stack of 300 tickets that they had to manually. So they literally have to go, they'd go up to whatever the gas station is, they'd say, how many do you want? And they'd yep. say 500 cases, and then they'd have to just write it down. They would write it down, drop off the product, write it down, take those little papers back to the office where they had a bunch of people doing data entry into the system with that. Yeah. Uh, with the ScanForce solution, they were able to give the guys rugged devices that they could take on their trucks with them, scan the products as they're delivering it uh, to the customer, and when they're done with that process, one button press, it's back in the Sage 100 system. They don't have to type anything into the system, so the information's there much quicker. They can bill the customers quicker, get paid quicker. Uh, huge time savings there for them. So who's a perfect customer for ScanForce? Well, the first key is right now, you have Sage 100. So if you're using Sage 100 for your inventory management, uh, ScanForce can be a fit for you. So if you, if you have warehouse, if you have inventory, if you do shipping, receiving, any concerns over accuracy or speed of the warehouse, ScanForce can definitely help. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I know the entrepreneurial journey has its ups and its downs. Talk about a high and talk about a low from the journey so far. Okay. Uh, 
Well, it's always exciting when you're first starting it. So you're working on the product, building it, right. uh, kind of working uh, with different customers. I think the most challenging thing has been growing. Uh, you know, as we've grown, as more customers, there's a higher demand on us, on our team. Yeah. So adding people, training people, uh, where initially I had to wear a lot of different hats. Yeah. Uh, now being able to kind of pass that off to people has been kind of one of the exciting things as well. So talk about that. Um, you know, they were talking a little about that, obviously, in the main stage with Aston Kutcher and founder of Kickstarter about growing and scaling. What have you found has worked for scaling as far as hiring and training? Because that's, you know, a lot of time and energy. Yeah. The, the training is a key part of that. So uh, what we try to do is really have an internal educational program where we allow people, even people that aren't, aren't necessarily in uh, positions that require necessarily knowledge about certain details, but we offer that knowledge to them, give them an opportunity to learn about it. So everyone kind of is on the same page. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So find that helpful. So Dan, what's been one of the proudest business achievements for you? Oh, um, hmm. I mean, just being here, this is our first year that we're the platinum sponsor oh, of yeah. uh, Sage 100. So, Your book uh, looks great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. So, so we're the platinum sponsor, kind of getting to this level. When we first started it, I can't say that we really kind of imagined uh, that we would uh, be at the level that we are. So uh, it's it's been a quick rise for us every year, growing year over year. So uh, we want to kind of continue on that pattern. We're excited. Technology uh, has continued to kind of grow with us and we're taking it to the next level with dashboards, with different modern devices. So really excited about that. Where are you guys based out of? We're in Miami, Florida. Okay. Yep. Very cool. So let's leave people with something. First of all, let's point people to where they should find you, right? It says scanforce.com. Yep. So was that a hard domain to get? That's a good one. Actually, that's a, that's a good story that we have there. Yeah, initially that domain was taken by someone that was not using it. Uh, so we had scanforcesoftware.com for a while. I see. Uh, that's kind of a mouthful and all our email addresses at scanforcesoftware.com. Right, right. So we were kind of watching that scanforce.com domain name, hoping that it would come free. Uh, tried to have some conversations with the person. That's a two, a, a really easy to pronounce two word domain. Yep. So how was it obtaining that? Yeah, we uh, finally we got in touch with the person that owned it and got into little negotiations. Uh, initially, we kind of let them sit like, on it. We want $1 million. You're like, we can't afford that. We, no, let, yeah. we let them sit on it for a while, realized they weren't doing anything with it. Uh, so we got it for a reasonable, a reasonable amount okay. finally. So, That's yeah. good. So let's leave people with one big lesson that you've learned in your entrepreneurial career uh, so far. What's a a big lesson that would be good to impart on other, whether it's software entrepreneurs, hardware entrepreneurs. Yeah, one thing uh, that was key for us is we really got into something that we that we knew. We knew the product, we knew the industry, we knew what people needed, uh, and we listened to our customers. So by listening to what customers need, we were able to deliver the yeah. right product yeah. to them. Uh, what were some of the things they were asking for that you wouldn't have known otherwise? Um, I mean, some of the things like right now we're uh, releasing our dashboards and one of our customers, uh, and this is actually from years back from some of the products that we were developing yeah. for them, uh, has put a TV out in their warehouse. So that's something that's actually pretty common now. A few years back it wasn't, but you can put a television screen out in the warehouse, something you wouldn't necessarily think of doing to show dashboard information, show yeah. the pickers what orders they have to get, show them how their productivity is. So they can see as they're working in the warehouse, how productive they're being and they can see that other people can see how productive they're being so uh they're putting that exactly you're holding them accountable right there in the warehouse uh showing that on a tv screen uh, of all things that's one we often forget which is so obvious which is so essential which is listen to your customers yeah. and their needs dan this has been awesome from sage summit thank you thank you very much appreciate it what i got you can't buy it resides between my eyes walk through the fire came out better on the other side see life's like a peach if you find the sand and right now i'm feeling like a hundred grand